Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Danica. I just wanted to film a really quick, quick intro to this video because I'm about to leave for the airport. My car is coming in like 10 or 15 minutes. I am gonna fly tonight to Edinburgh. Actually, I'm gonna stop in Gatwick first for like a couple of hours for a layover. But I'm gonna go see my friend Andrew's show at the Edinburgh Fringe for the first time. Now, Andrew is one of my best friends from grad school and he's legit one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. After he did his PhD, he went on to become a playwright and he's also a stand-up comic. So he's had the show at the Edinburgh Fringe. It's a different show every year, but he's do been doing a show at the Edinburgh Fringe for about six years. And I have never had the time. The time has just never worked out, right? All those years I worked in fashion, August is right before New York Fashion Week. So I've never been able to leave for a week or so to like go to Scotland and go see a show. And I'm so excited now that I'm a freelance writer and I'm writing full time and I literally could just work from anywhere with Wi-Fi. I decided like last minute and like partially because it's just so hot and humid in New York, I really needed a break. I decided to just take my laptop and go to the UK for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna take you with me as I go to Edinburgh and beyond. I'm actually wearing my vacay sweatshirt that I ordered from Sweden. And as I was waiting for the sweatshirt, I Googled the brand and I realized that they actually have a store right here in New York on Orchard Street. But I think the vacay sweatshirt is pretty fitting even though I'm not going on vacay. I'm so excited to get away, get to get out of New York for the last few weeks of summer. It's been so hot. I'm just really psyched. So come with me, I'm gonna go to the airport. I'm gonna go really early because the last few times I've been to international departures, the, TS, the TSA line has been so long. So I'm gonna go super early, just go like, I have some work to do, so I might just like get some work done before I board the plane. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep in the flight and I'll land tomorrow morning and I'll see you maybe on the other side. Edinburgh and I've checked in my hotel. I'm a little bit out of breath because my hotel is up like four flights of stairs. It's a listed building so we can't actually install an elevator. The hotel is beautiful though. I'm gonna walk in the hotel room to show you where I'm staying and I'm so tired. I'm like, you can see I'm so sweaty. I took an overnight flight on a red eye where these people, I don't understand, they just stood in the aisle and talked like throughout the entire night. It was so annoying. Who does that on a red eye when everyone's trying to sleep? Anyway, and then I had a layover in Gatwick for like an hour and a half and then flew from Gatwick here to Edinburgh. I just got here. It's so beautiful outside. I'm gonna show you guys. And I'll show you around the hotel room. My hotel actually looks out over this roundabout thing called Picardy Place. Um, that huge banner is because we're in the, I guess it's like the last weekend of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna see my friend Andrew's show. The sky is so beautiful here. The clouds have been so amazing. So yeah, a lot of places instead of a uh, traffic light, they have these roundabouts to keep traffic moving. And there are all these rules about how you should drive around a roundabout. So it's very orderly actually. It's actually mesmerizing to watch. There's some beautiful old buildings that we've already driven by. Edinburgh is a really historical city. I'm so excited to walk around over the next few days. This is my hotel room. So this is the amazing mural that's on a wall here on the wall. I don't know what this is. I'll have to, I literally just got here, so I haven't had a chance to look, but I suspect that this is part of the old city. Um, because this area is a historical area and this building is listed, I suspect that this is just, you know, part of the landscape. Bed, Miriam, hi. Bed, 
TV. What's interesting, I think this is like a 3D TV because it has like 3D glasses there for me to use. Um, there's also DVD listings. Let's see what else we have. Little bar set up here. Desk. Just crucial because technically I'm still doing a lot of work on here. That's our table. Um, there's the hallway here. I think this is actually bigger than my closet at home. And then here's the bathroom. It has this like cool purple moonlight. It's just a shower. Very modern. Look, he's a tiny rail. I love the little lounging area. A little sofa and stuff. Anyway, I'm so glad I finally made it to Edinburgh. I have about four hours before I have to get my ticket for Andrew's show. His last show is tonight. We drove by the venue on the way in, so I'm so happy that like it's not that far away. I can probably walk there in five minutes. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shower because you know after you like are on a plane, you just like smell like the airplane. And then I'm gonna probably take a nap. I don't know. I can't decide whether to nap or to eat. Right, like the two hardest questions, do I sleep or do I eat? So that's what I'm doing. I will check back in with you guys tonight at Andrew's show.